Right, welcome ladies and gents. I think this uh, excerpt on Twitter perfectly sums up this video. We're going to be talking about Doctor Who Star Beast. It's the 60th anniversary special, or one-off anyway. And you can sit here, right-wing websites reviewing the Star Beast. Oh no, a pronoun. Hmm. I mean, that's a bit disingenuous, but yeah, maybe people do have an issue with you know, a beloved franchise overly focusing on identity politics as opposed to a fun jaunt through time. Perhaps. Maybe? Maybe! And also it's optics. There are not enough people which support or even enjoy this type of storytelling that will be able to keep Doctor Who afloat. Now I know that's radical thinking. Lots of people will think, oh boohoo, yeah. no they will actually. Shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. Well, we have many, many, many case studies of this. Disney, the box office draws are going downhill. The Marvels was a huge bomb. Uh, Wish, a huge bomb. When something falls out of favour with the public so radically because it has such an overt focus on these types of identity politics, yeah, it's actually really difficult to save it. So let's take a look at some of these and then we'll look at the Rotten Tomatoes because people are saying it's being review bombed. It's not actually. The Rotten Tomato reviews are incredibly articulate. Uh, and it just highlights terrible writing. We can see it here. Doctor Who really said trans rights. The Starby shone a light on gender identity, the importance of pronouns, and the experience of trans youth in the first three, in the first of three anniversary specials. I mean, as if that hasn't been spoken about enough. As if that doesn't get enough uh, discussion and conversation in day-to-day -day life as it is. Really, we need it now to be in absolutely everything. It doesn't need to be in everything. It's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it goes up. There's so much of this on on Twitter. Um, and there was even... There was even like a behind-the-scenes... Uh, I, I don't even know what it is. It's like a... Behind Doctor Who. Uh, where they discussed how important it was. Really? Okay. All right, then. So, yeah. Let's take a look at some of this. Because these reviews are incredible. Uh, and very, very articulate. You know, this is not review bombing by any stretch of the imagination. These people have genuine issues. Genuine issues. <clears throat> I mean, this one, for instance, can I give it a negative value? For one minute, I thought I had tuned in to uh, the Labour Party conference promo video. Awful beyond words. That's actually a fair, just critique. Uh, the hue of the TARDIS is now Norwegian blue. It's dead. Not resting a cuttlefish won't revive it. It's not stunned. Not pinning or pining for the fjords. It's dead. Nailed to the perch it is. Gone to meet its maker. This is an ex-sci-fi show. R.I.P. Doctor Who. Some of these are a little bit blasé, of course. But stuff like this, for instance. They just ruined the show for me. The story was lame. We got all the meta-crisis Doctor and Donna losing her memory drama. While it was so simple as to let go. R.I.P. Doctor Who, as this killed it for me and not coming back. Don't care who the actor is. However, the classic Doctor Who was right. The Doctor ended in his 12th incarnation, at least for me. Don't care anymore for the show or other regenerations. Pretty fair. So disappointed. I was so excited to have RTD uh, come back and bring the show back to glory after the abysmal last few seasons. But it just felt the same as Jodie's Doctor. Poor writing. Bad pasting. Underdeveloped characters who can't act. I'm looking at you, Rose. And being bashed around the head endlessly by the message. I was unbelievably bored watching it. And honestly, I'm not even angry anymore. Just sad. I don't have hope for the future either. Now that Disney has its grubby hands all over it. You just know it will dig its hands in and tear out anything good about this show. Fair enough. This is not a review bomb. That's a pretty justified statement, I think. Aliens with pronouns, chastising the Doctor for being masculine. BBC and Disney just can't seem to help themselves. I'm done. Completely fair. I never thought Doctor Who could get any worse. This hurts more than turning the Doctor female and destroying 60 years of history. That's actually fair, although people will get triggered by the female part. They took my favourite Doctor and humiliated him. Turned him into a simp. Yep. And again, this one, for instance, heartbroken. To the BBC, we plead... That you take a break with Who and reevaluate the things you started out with when creating the show. 
The 15th Doctor seasons can be seen going down the same way as this series of specials too. This is unfathomable to me. You can't and should not force the majority of the viewers to accept certain faces and beliefs in their way of seeking their most iconic hero of all time. Rather, stop the show. It's painful, please. Yep. All fairly uh, fair, I would say. And there are positives, by the way. Lots of people did like it. But, I mean, most people didn't like it. And that's important. Well, this is Doctor Who joining the Pandaverse. Yeah, because it's pandering. I'm a Doctor Who fan, tried and true. So this is a two-star. So let's see what they have to say. Uh, I feel bringing back Tennant and Tate for three episodes was an attempt to bring back viewers. I would say that's completely accurate. Who abandoned the show over the last few years. It worked for me. I watched the first 60th anniversary show and was hoping for a decent classic revival. Didn't happen. Clearly there's a bigger budget. Storytelling and pace was classic RTD. Social messaging seemed to be overshadowing the basic plot. Yes. And this is the issue. You cannot focus on those things at the behest of the plot. Or the narrative, the story. I think we are seeing a foreshadowing of what's to come. I'll watch the remaining two Tenant and Tate episodes, but I believe Davies is going to go all in on social messaging, like he did in the American Torchwood series on HBO a few years ago. We'll see. My preference are shows that are fun and leave you wanting more. This episode left me feeling disappointed. That's not a review bomb. That's very, very fair. I think. Personally. And again, you know, we've got one here. Unfortunately, this was not the return to form. Many hoped from RTD. Gone are the days of good storytelling with minor yet important messaging woven into the script to create the amazing stories we have known from 63 to 17. Now we get ham-fisted, obsessive messaging that makes up the episode's entire plot and takes away from what could have been a somewhat decent story while simultaneously ruining the ending to one of, if not the greatest series finale in Who history. Messaging was not the only issue I had, however, the whole thing felt rushed due to the awful pacing. So that's, again, very just. Uh, as such, many things were left unexplained or just straight up made no sense. The only redeemable thing I can take away from this episode was Catherine Tate and David Tennant, as even 15 years later, they're a fantastic duo that light up the screen wherever they appear. I like, I, I mean, I like David Tennant anyway, but yeah. Not good. People are annoyed with the messaging, and I think that's fair. I think that's justified. And again, if we go over on Twitter, people on Twitter... I see Mothra trend in there. Uh, ba, ba. Again, loads of people like it, FYI. Loads of people do like it. But loads of people, yeah, not happy. <laughs> the Starbeast random thoughts. Sex effing titles? What? His effing face when she said Rose? Jesus. There'll be loads of people that like this, by the way. I get it. Um, but again, there isn't enough of these people that want all of this stuff in their show to make this a success. There's just not. There is not enough people. I mean, maybe, but no, it's not. There's definitely not enough people. Uh, so, there you go. I mean, loads of people are like, oh, it's been, you know, it's been spoiled. and you know, They're just, again, Rose Voice non-binary. Like, why do you need to do pronouns in this stuff? I don't know. Just a bit meh. But the problem is, no one's even angry about this stuff anymore. It's just apathy. People are just like, eh, whatever. I've checked out. I'm done. And that's the issue, right? That's the issue. When you make people just have apathy towards this stuff, you end up with 47%. Yeah, people aren't happy. So there you go. Review bombed? Nope. I don't think so. I think pretty justified. Most reviews are pretty fair and eloquently written. Leave your thoughts down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.